Hallo alle zusammen, hier ist die Roxy für euch aus dem Festsaal Kreuzberg bzw. vor dem Festsaal Kreuzberg. Roxy. Denn, Roxy, ja. Denn heute Abend spielt eine fantastische Band aus Norwegen, Kakmarafaka. Und ich habe die Ehre, drei der Bandmitglieder, ähm, heute sind es übrigens acht, hier neben mir stehen zu haben. Ich habe hier Axel, ich, hab, ich habe hier Stee und Big P. Uh, hey guys, how are you? We are good, we are good. Feel good, feel good. Good, good. Gute Laune, as we like to say. Gute Laune. And you, Axel? Yeah, a mega bomb. Yeah. Me mm. Are you exciting for tonight because today is your first show? Yes, and very nervous. Are you nervous? I mean, you are in the band for so many years now and you're touring so often. Why are you nervous? You know, it's been a really special summer for us. You know, we gathered much more fans in Germany, so suddenly we get a little bit pressure when we sell out this uh, Festival Kreuzberg. So, uh, Of course, we're a bit nervous then. Okay. It's pressure. But I'm more than convinced that it's going to be fantastic tonight. Um, you're from Bergen, Norway. This is what I mentioned to the viewers in the beginning. Um, from Bergen, right now, there are so many cool bands from, um, like, um, Kings of Convenience. Uh, you, Kakmarafak, of course. Um, Data Rock. Um, Casio Kids. So you have some more tips for the viewers that they should check out from Bergen, Norway. Yes, I uh, can do, I can answer that. If you're interested in uh, Norwegian rap music, Uh, the one and only Arlage is from uh, Bergen. That's our favorite rap group. But uh, then you need to learn some Norwegian and then you need to learn some uh, Bergen slang, if that's what you want to do. You also got you put your hands up for Neo Tokyo and Young Dreams. Uh, well, your manager is playing, I've read. He's not playing. He's not playing there. What, what is he doing there? He's a lyrical advisor. Hmm. He's been helping them uh, with some lyrics uh, because he's a native English speaker mm -hmm. and, and they got shit lyrics from before so they needed some uh, help. help. But it's still shit lyrics. <laughs> Good point. Uh, how do you write your lyrics? Because you used to sing in English yeah. but you're not, uh, yeah, it's not your mother language. So how do you write your no, lyrics? But it basically, is, we talk English every day, you know. Uh, I consider myself a better English speaker than a Norwegian speaker after a couple of years of touring. Actually, uh, actually, Axmax read better English than he read Norwegian. When he reads Norwegian, he's dys dyslectic, but not when he reads English. Dyslexic. So, uh, when I was uh, on school, uh, when I was young, uh, I, uh, uh, everyone in the class had to write uh, their exam on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Since I'm dyslectic, I can... Dyslexic. Dyslexic. I, uh, I, I got to use a computer. So... Uh, it's a little bit special. But uh, don't uh, get the wrong idea about uh, dyslexic uh, people because uh, I I, 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 Albert Einstein was a dyslexic. I can mention tons of uh, people that uh, got dyslexia. But are you the only one that is writing lyrics for Kat Madafaka or are you doing it uh, as your three singers? Yeah, it depends who you ask. <laughs> See, do you write some of the lyrics? Some lyrics, yeah. It's, it's mostly Ax Max and uh, Big P. Mm -hmm. But uh, then I jump on the boat often, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I got something to do with almost every song. Yes, of course, of course, of course. And, and Dr. Jones also. Yeah, of course, Dr. Jones is a great lyricist. So, yeah. lyricists, lyricists, lyricists. Lyricist. Lyricist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There, there you go. I am I'm better in English than this guys. No, but um, uh, yeah, uh, when it comes to lyrics. It's uh, it's very important, we think, and mm -hmm. we put a lot of effort into lyrics and uh, make sure that they are uh, more than average, because uh, under average is not good enough for us, but average or above is more than enough. So, if they're average or if they're sometimes really great, that's uh, th that's. Really I would good. say let's just stop talking about it. Let's um, make the viewers decide if they like the music and the lyrics or not. So, enjoy uh, the part uh, of Kak Madafaka's concert and see you later in the next part of our interview.
Thank you very much. I have one question. I have one question, everybody. Can everybody say cock motherfucker? Cock motherfucker. Cock motherfucker. Cock motherfucker. Great success. This song goes out to all of you because you're probably amongst the coolest guys in Berlin. We are really proud that so many cool guys in Berlin really want to come to our concert. Thank you very much. Let's have a great night, everybody. You tell me that is two kinds of people, the cool ones and all of us. We believe you, cause you're the boss. Walking down the street, look what you're wearing. Yeah. You're the coolest, you're the coolest guy You're the fluffy, you're your team You're a special, special, special team. team When we're walking, you are running When we're driving, special you're flying by Like a ladder when you meet a sick How did it get so big? You're the cool, you're the coolest You're the cool, you're the coolest guy
Cause who got him? Choose. I see a fire burning. I see it in your eyes. Got something for you, baby. It's a big surprise. Ah, 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 ah. Crazy on a dance floor with you. Crazy on a dance floor with you. Oh! I'm coming, baby. I'm coming in your face. It's a not a not a bitch. Cause it's a not a place. Well, that's a door, bitch. Turn off the lights. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we got the mood. A bit more light down. Then we can turn it up after our stage.
hier ist wieder die Roxy für euch mit Kack Motherfucker, unser nächster Interviewpart. Die Jungs sind aus Bergen, aus Norwegen. Oh, you have nice hair now. Yes. You, know. you, you, you changed just for the second part. Yeah, I did it. So now we have something to talk about because uh, it's not always easy to have something interesting to talk about. I have some. I did this for you. And I hope you and for the viewers. Uh, I hope, uh, hope you're happy with that. I'm very happy with this, but, but I also. Now we can talk about that. You have it. It's different now. You look so cool. Thank you. And this is also a title of one of your songs, Cool, which is not from the current album, not from Hest, but from your previous album, Down to Earth, which you only uh, published in Norway, right? Because I couldn't find it here in Germany. Yes. Uh, it's true. Um, uh, Uh, we were like uh, 15 at the time, so we didn't know how to uh, to give it out in Germany, so we never did. But you used to play it live on every show, it's like one part of the show. Yes. Some of the songs. We are playing some But. of the songs tonight as well. But cool is like always in the show. In this shows I've I've seen from you, I always, I, I've heard that this is like a tribute to to Alan Oya, one of your producers. Is this right? Uh, yes, in one way, yes, in one way, no. But uh, we can focus on the yes way, and <laughs> and uh, yes, it's a tribute to him. He's a very cool guy. Um, Just for the viewers, Alan Oye is the singer of Kings of Convenience and also from White's Boy Alive. Yes. And your current album has came out on the label yes. from Martin Oes from yes. Bubbles yes. Um, from White's Boy Alive. We can make, basically thank Alan Oye and uh, Bubbles with March and everything for our success in Germany. You know, they are, uh, they are the guys that believed in us when everyone else was doing this. They were doing this. <laughs> so we really don't like this. We like this. Are you somehow influenced by Erland Oye, White's Boy Alive, or other bands uh, related to Bergen in Norway? Of course we are related uh, to them. We, uh, we, take, uh, we get a lot of influences, and Alan as well, he's, he's been in the, in the studio who tells us what works and what not works. So, <laughs> so he's been a great advisor for us. And you know, when there's so many bands in Bergen doing well, It really inspires us to, you know, believe that, okay, when that shitty boy in the neighborhood can make a good song, why can't we do it? So, you know, it's a snowball effect. Yes, yes. You know that okay. expression? Yeah, I yeah. Know yeah. Not, a bad, not a bad circle, but a good circle. Yeah. Mm. So these are your influences from Bergen Norway. If you could pick up some or pick some influences um, generally in music, what would you say? What are the main bands? Now? Now. Okay. It influenced you? Uh, for me uh, personally, it's uh, nowadays. This uh, young lady over here, no. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's um, you got uh, names as uh, R. Kelly, uh, you got the Beatles, you got uh, yeah. What what uh, what more is it? It's 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 a lot of good music. Queen maybe. I think Queen is good because uh, they like to uh, uh, experiment really much with choir things and uh, funky uh, lines and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, and also your current album is like a mix of very different styles. Um, you cannot put it into one category, so it's like everything inside. The title is Hest, which is Norwegian for horse. This is what I could look up. And you have also one song there, Drosso. Do I say it right? This is also Norwegian, but I couldn't figure out what this stands for. Could you explain for me what is Drosso? Or a Dröse, as we Dröse. Yeah, and that's the Norwegian way, but you can say it in the German way, Drusu, if you want to. But uh, <coughs> yeah, but it's it's from a language we created. We have our own language within Norway, which is called Balaban, and um, Dröse means uh, hungover. 
uh, and um, uh, yeah, it's basically a song about hangover. We got a lot of names, a lot of words in this language called Balabang that don't n n Norwegians don't understand. It is only us that understands it. So that's why we have it in the song. And uh, yeah, we got we got uh, like hest on Balabang means party. And that's why the record is called Hest. I thought this is because of your upside down horse that you always have with you as your sign. It's, it's, it's a mix. It's, 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 uh, when, when, when you do a Hest, you uh, have, a have a party, and that horse, as you can see, has got a little bit more, too much partying going on. You can say that that horse symbolizes three things. You got Hest, which is the album name. And uh, uh, the <laughs> I'm really, I'm really interested now. <laughs> no. I want to know. I want to I know all you, the three I things can, now. I can tell you, it symbolizes three things, or it means three things. It means horse. Okay. It means party. party. Yeah. Yeah. And, Two things. And, and we played a, a thing called horse when we created the band name. Yes. In Tony Hawk. It's a game in Tony Hawk that's called Horse. It's a skater game. That's how we but, came up but with it. But none of us are riders. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a bit of a rider. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I love to saddle up and uh, go for a ride in the sunset. Do you also play polo then? Yes. Sometimes. I uh, bring out the old polo club and, um, and have, a, have a little... Uh, yeah, uh, match. Yeah, ride, ride out there. So that's why they call me Riders of the Storm. Nah, the Rider of the Storm. You are the Rider of the Storm and on the that horse as well. Name. That's my new name. I came up with it right now. You know, they used to call me Manhattan. Last time we were talking yeah, to each yeah, other, true. that's Manhattan. But now I'm Rider of the Storm. Let's talk about your nicknames in the next part. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would say let's have a look uh, on the next part of your show and enjoy some of your songs. Viel Spaß! It was the first thing I saw when I came And I don't need to know her name There's only one question
an Kakmara Faka. Ich äh, hoffe, das hat euch Spaß gemacht. Es geht natürlich noch weiter mit unserem Interview mit den drei Jungs. Ich habe euch versprochen, die Spitznamen der Jungs, die sind nämlich ganz besonders. Das ist eine der Besonderheiten der Band. So, one of your special specialties, if I may quote one of your songs, um, are your nicknames. Um, could you make a short run through, not the long version, please? Short? You want me to do it? Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's me, you can call me Manhattan X, Max Tex, Max Hydro, Texaco, uh, Bose, Rider of the Storm, um, uh, Tex Max, uh, X Max. Then you call Steve, uh, you can call him, uh, and me you call, call also Oliver Kahn. Uh, <laughs> then you got Steve, uh, Steve Lee, uh, Steve Man, Handsome Steve, Steve from the Lee, Steve in the Lee, uh, Steve in the Lee. Steve Mikal Balak. <laughs> and then we got Big P, Pedo, uh, Pelicious, Hunter. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah. P, And then P, Big P, the Gunner, Big P. Yeah, Pedo. Yeah, that's it. How do you come up with all those nicknames? Uh, and if you, or, or if you could give me a nickname. Uh, what I would call you uh, Roxy Music. Yes. Alex Phone Girl. Do you have a cool nickname for me as well, Alex Max? Yes. What do you like to do in life? I need to know a little bit more. You need to need, need, I'm, I'm doing no, interviews. No, no, no. The investigator. Yeah. That's good. Um, so. So next time I'm the investigator. Yeah, very so good. Very, very good. Next time we meet, you, you're going to be, what's up, rider of the storm? I'm going to be like, what's up, investigator? Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, the next special speciality of your band is Are you choir boys? My question was that you have choir boys on stage, ah. sometimes two of them, sometimes three of them, yeah. so Bipsy Boys, Hell Malicious and so on. Yeah. Um, what is their role on stage? Their role is um, to um, dance and uh, then sing. Like, first of all, they're dancers and then uh, they're singers. And um, they're also there to make sure that uh, someone is always complaining about something because they really like to complain about stuff. Okay. <laughs> so that's their role in the band. They're the complainers. Yes, yes. And uh, you might not know it, but it's uh, uh, complaining often helps them, but not the one that gets complained on because you get better on things, but it doesn't get better uh, for... Uh, uh, yeah, it gets better for, yeah. for them but not for us. Are, we call them the union, you know. They like the union. So they all like together and, yeah, really and you have... I, you know, before... We must have sparkling wine, yeah. must have. You know, we used to go on tour and then the band didn't pay for food. And then people had to pay their own food. And then the choir came like, they had like their own um, um, slagans and stuff and shouting, we want food pay for free and you know they were, they were going mental you know and we as leaders in the band we have to say okay you will get some food just take it easy and uh, keep on going you know and this is yeah it's get a, soon they want women in their choir as well you, you, know? you have women no but they probably want uh, women in the choir w what would it be just take me as a woman woman on your stage this would be good as well i i, I can yeah, do the same you know. job I'm, i have now a cool nickname you gave me one yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, maybe in the future. Okay, we have to discuss this, if you take me on stage or not. Uh, the viewers can find it out, figure it out um, in the pictures. Um, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Roxy. And yeah. The investigator. Yeah. The girl. Double D. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the show um, tonight. Und euch viel Spaß beim Zuschauen weiterhin mit Kakmada Faka und der Show. Hier war die Roxy für euch. Bye bye. Thank you.
This is our last song. Thank you very much. Keep it real. Stay cut, motherfucker, for life.
Wir sind Urban Music, ich bin die Roxy. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ich hoffe, ihr habt genauso viel abgefeiert wie ich gerade. Ich bin fix und alle. Ciao. This is Steve. And this is Big P. I'm Axel. And you're watching... Alex TV. Hello. Hello. Cut. Cut. Hello, this is Big P. This is Steve. Uh, I'm Axel. We are cock motherfucker. We are close to the Alexanderplatz. And you're watching Alex TV.